The car arrived at the right time. The fat years in Ukraine were in full swing. Even those who a couple of years ago drove Neva and 9 cars joined the premium. Well, Q7, premium is nowhere to go. The cost of an average repair at an official service station can be shocking for an unprepared person. For example, replacing some fuel equipment with flushing the entire system, including the tank, can now cost several thousand dollars. Perhaps that is why the crossover in the secondary market quickly and profusely loses in price. So, Q7 came to Ukraine, having engines of at least 3 liters under the hood. In fact, the most optimal of them was recognized as gasoline, 280 horsepower. Fuel consumption within the bounds of decency, and in terms of reliability is very worthy. His only misfortune is the ignition coils, which do not take care of more than 120,000 km. At the turn of 200,000 km, the extended timing chain will need to be replaced, and this repair is already more expensive, up to $3,000. Unofficial prices are 1.5 to 2 times lower. However, the V8 4.2 FSI, 350 horsepower, became the most popular of the engines. Yet the acceleration is less than 8 seconds. The engine is also stingy with surprises, except for the same chain stretching followed by expensive repairs. With the restyling of 2009, these engines were replaced by 272 and 333 horsepower 3.0 TSFI turbo engines, behind which a remarkable appetite for oil was noticed. In addition, a 3.0 DDI diesel, 233 horsepower, is often found on the market. It is reliable, the turbine and nozzles run up to 200,000 km, but when buying it, it is worth finding out if the injection pump has changed. After hundreds of thousands of kilometers, the pump began to drive chips into the system, which entailed the same repair for thousands of dollars. Before restyling, all Q7S were driven with six-speed automatics made in Japan, Eisen, or German, ZF. After 2009, they switched to an eight-speed German ZF. There are few complaints about them, you just need to monitor the oil level, the penetration of which, for example, into the box ECU will provoke costly problems. Speaking of the body, we again allow ourselves to refer to the magic word premium. In general, the paintwork is of high quality, the iron steadfastly holds the impact of the environment. However, on the restyled Q7, there are traces of corrosion on the paintwork of the doors. Often misted LED headlight optics. With age, the problem of windshield wipers appears, the trapezoid turns sour and breaks the teeth on the gear of their drive. Even such a trifle may well pull on $500 to $700. The rear windshield washer jet is often clogged. It was noted that in the area of backslash U200B backslash U200 front right wing, the hose was disconnected and the line under the engine ECU was torn. In the cabin, everything is more or less in order. The only thing is that pre-styling cars already seem slightly archaic to many due to the small size of the central display. Noise isolation is good, but inside, in the area of the hatch and trunk, extraneous sounds still appear. There are jams and electrics. The LEDs in the headlights of restyled cars and the taillights on pre-styling ones fail due to a broken contact in the lamp unit. Keyless access handles are capricious, up to $400 a piece. A defective pen can drain the battery. The tailgate lock, the gas tank hatch drive and the parking radar sensors are hacking. In the region of 100,000 km, due to the wear of the brushes, the stove motor will whistle, $300. And then, after several tens of thousands of kilometers, they begin to knock or wedge the drive at the air conditioning dampers. Aging, the display goes blank and the sound of the MMI system disappears. And restarting doesn't always help. Again expenses. In a word, the same problems as everyone else. Conventional spring suspension is a good option, but do not be afraid of pneumatic, which was installed optionally. Problems with it often appear in winter. The main malfunctions are valve failure or compressor wear due to moisture accumulated in the system. The compressor is repair door, for $2,000, replaced with a new one. It is curious that in some places they managed to pick up a similar unit from Mercedes-Benz, which is four times cheaper. Air struts sometimes serve more than 200,000 kilometers and cost up to $3,000 each. And what did you want? You have to pay for the pleasure of driving richly. And yet, when choosing a used Audi Q7, you need to pay for a total diagnostics of the car. And best of all, if it is carried out by specialists in the official service, 